in this lesson we are going to see on how we can add a multiple data source in our form and i think in a previous one of the lesson we have going to see how we can add a multiple data source in a in our query but today we will see on how we can add a multiple data source on our table uh, form level so let's go and see how we can do that so for that i will need a new form so for that i will have to go to my form and i will create a new form of okay let's say we take on from a simple list and let me give a name for this one the simple list would be uh, let's say employee table simple list and that should be okay save this one and in the data source if you open now you can see nothing over here you just have a two button over here new and delete so we need to add a data source so for this data source we need to add a multiple one so the first one or the parent one would be our employee table all right and the second one i would like to take from a skill so let's take a skill okay the second one we have added two data source over here and what we have to do now is we need to add a relation between these two table so parent and a child so we need to go to the child table first and we have a da joint data source so this uh, table and uh, this option or this property the join source we need to select a parent table so we want to join to which parent table so for this one we have a employee table or the employee table is your parent and the join type join type just uh, leave as it is for now and we'll take a separate lesson on each of if you drop down here you can see a lot of passive delay active inner join outer join exit join no exit join so this will take one by one in our coming lesson but for now we will just uh, leave as is our default one which is delayed okay that's it our table uh, join source has been done with employee table and for that to work if you have to go through uh employee skill and you need to check the table relation whether there is a relation from your child table to parents so from here we have a relation already in our skill which is a skill uh, rd emp skill table we have one relation which is an employee id from our skill is has a relation to employee id in our parent table which is uh, rd employee table so that's good and we already have relation over here and if you don't have relation then you need to add a relation so make sure you have a relation over here if you don't have a relation it will not work so we have already added the relation and we also have added a uh, added our join source so that's good enough for our data source and the next thing we need to go to our design go to design over here and go to grid container so we will be adding a to grid so let's go over here and there is already one grid okay one grid is already here and it's a bit slow let me see what's happening okay okay so i need to change the name of my this one is a mm, grid header let's say i want to say this one is as a header and let me add one more grid which will be a line so let me add a grid where is a grid 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 here so that's grid okay let me say is a line grid right so uh, header and um, grid sorry it should be grid uh, line so we have a grid line and grid header and the header i will just move it up on alt and up arrow and it should be move up and we need to change the data source for this one each our employee table and this should be our line should be our uh, not the employee table but it should be employee skill so one is employee table and one is uh, employee skill and we also have to adjust the height and width so column height and column height and this one also we need to change column height column okay that's good 
and the next thing is we need to add our field so we don't have any field now so we need to add a field from our header which is our parent table and that is our okay why not i just open this one a new window here and that will make uh, more easier to view so we need to add it to the grid so let's select the field that you want to add so i want to select every field from here okay up to here so record id table id and uh, data area id and it's not selected and also the one more thing where is the record id so that record id is here okay that's good so let's drive over here so we have all of this ready and for our line we also need to do the same thing so that for that we need to go to our template table and another one would be our skill so just select the field that you want to add employee id label skill sorry here 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 that's it okay so just add and drop over here okay that's good enough and let's save all of this and let us try to open our form and see how it looks like okay that's look better so this one okay let's drag over over here and we have how many employee okay let's see we have this one let's just drag this one a little bit bigger and this one also need to be a little bit of why it's not dragging up and let me make it a large one so why it's not dragging okay let me close this form first and let me see what i have made a mistake anything over here okay so container okay that should be okay and let me go to design over here and also select the height width and height of this one okay that's good enough and just save it and restore it now and open it back so we have a two form we have added a two data source which is employee employee table is one in the top here and the down here is a the employee skill so if you select the employee one and you can get this one if you select employee uh, one zero uh, ten then you can get the, the employee added skill so let us add a skill is say x plus plus and just k and employee zero to is c plus plus employee three is c surf employee four is blank and just add a java that's good enough okay so here is the uh, relation when you click the parent table the child table is updating automatically so that's how it's working so if you select this record the child table is automatically updating its record based on the relation that we provide so relation is employee id to employee id right so we can we also can adjust the column over here let's just try to adjust and let's to design and design view over here now let's try to adjust some of the column which should be employee id i just want to move up sorry this is not moving this should be employee id sorry it's down here and employee name try to move up and see whether we can get the view that we want so let me just save over here and restore it and restore the form yeah so we have arranged the employee ID top and then employee ID name and that's it so if we go to second uh, okay this is 10 number 10 then here is number second third fourth fifth yeah so when we select the record it's automatically updating and that's it how, how it works uh, like uh, we have a two 
two uh, two data sets over here in our uh, table or the form level. Mm. So one is employee table and one is skill table, and we also have a join source, and then the link type will be taking on our coming classes. So we have a uh, multiple link type that we need to take. So one delay passive delay active inner join outer join that that one we have to take it one by one so i think this much for this video and hope you guys have some basic understanding how we can add a multiple data source or a multiple table into a one single form and uh, how the join type is working and i will see you in your next video till then have a great day